The 96.5, it's the Sunny Sunrise Show. Survivors, hi on you. It's 7.08. Good morning. It's a Thursday morning. I love Tuesday and Thursday mornings at about this time, about 10 after 7, 8 after 7. <laughs> Give or take some <laughs> seconds. But we get to check in with Lainey Johnson from the Pregnancy Resource Center. Of course, we like to talk about little Jack, 10-month-old baby Jack, who's Mike Taylor's little boy. Hi, good morning, Lainey. How's it going? Good morning. Happy birthday, Mike. Good morning, Diane. Hey, good thanks. morning. So, uh, Jack? Well, I'm just... I'm, I'm wondering something about little Jack. Has he ever had a bump or a bruise? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, not not really too bad. But he, he's at the point, uh, he was he's clapping a little bit now. And now we got him to where uh, he, he was holding onto the couch and kind of walking around on the couch. Yeah. But now we say no hands. And he puts his hands up in the air. And he walks around with his hands up <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, then so. he's going to see some bumps and bruises. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to be falling down a lot, I think. Mike has a couple of bumps and bruises from that sippy cup hitting his head the other day. <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> but I want to know who threw it. Was it was it his wife? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, so. what I thought we might do is just mention some things you can do today that, that would help prevent some serious bumps and bruises or have you be prepared in case there are any. Do you have a first aid kit now? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. You should have a first aid kit, something that has bandages, gauze, tape, tweezers, scissors, a suction bulb, antibiotic ointment, a thermometer, all those things so that it's handy in case something happens. The other thing you might want to do, he's still sleeping in a crib. Do you, when you got your crib, did anybody tell you about the measurements between the bars? Uh, not exactly. I, I, I know they're like an inch and a half or something like that. They should be no more than two and three-eighths inches apart because a baby can fall through there. Mm. And their body can fall through those slats in that crib or even in a playpen. And then their head wouldn't fit through there. And so I see. That could be very dangerous. Um, when you're talking about 10 months old and, and up into toddlers, Falls are the most common causes of injuries, so watch your child so he doesn't fall. But okay. One of the things I really wanted to point out today is, does anybody near little Jack smoke? Uh, no. Okay. If a child gets a hold of a cigarette butt, do you know that there's enough nicotine in that little cigarette butt to kill a child? Wow. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and so... I. And they'll just eat it, right? Yeah, they'll, yeah, they put a lot of things in their mouths. And the other thing to be careful of is dog and cat food. Because a, a toddler, as soon as your child starts walking, he will put things in his mouth. And it's curiosity. He doesn't know any better. Right, right. Keep those dishes away from him where he can't reach them. And if he ever stays with a babysitter... You might want to, or a babysitter ever comes to your house, you want to make sure that you have every possible phone number posted near your phone at all times. If there's ever an emergency, you don't want anyone to have to be looking for a phone number. Poison control is a good number to have near your phone. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Tell you what to do if he eats something that he shouldn't eat. Watch him around stairs. Stairs are very curious areas to babies. Babies love to, to, when they start toddling like he is now, oh, what thrills and wonderful <laughs> things he's going to investigate. Oh, yeah, we were at Dana's parents over the weekend, and he was trying to, he was feeling it out, trying to get down the stairs. He, he keeps trying to go head first. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he will, and that's, the, so that's why I wanted us to talk about first aid, but as I thought about it, I thought, let's talk about preventing the need first. And keeping him away from electrical plugs as he crawls and, and walks and gets near outlets, it's tempting to stick your finger in there. After he puts his little hands in his mouth and gets them wet, too, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Um, keep your hot water heater temperature below 120. That's an important area because they he can turn the water on. He can get burned easily. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, the last couple of days I've been thinking about turning the hot water heater up. So, right. I'm, I'm really glad you mentioned that. I'll leave it where it is now. Because when you're giving him a bath, he's now reaching out and touching those hot water faucets, and he's now reaching and grabbing things. And so he could, even though when he's walking he can't reach the water faucet, he can reach it during different times. And 
it's just not worth taking a chance on because of his because of his sensitivity. And he's much more sensitive to that hot water than you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is next week start talking a little bit about car seat safety. Okay. Would that be okay? Yeah, sounds, yeah, that like sounds great. Lainey, thanks for all you do. Of course, the Pregnancy Resource Center has free parenting classes. Just call call the Pregnancy Resource Center. I'll let you give out the number. It's 830-257-2166. And you just call and make an appointment. And we do one-on-one parenting classes with you where you can sit down with a counselor who will help you with whatever issues you're having with your child. Absolutely free. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Lainey. Thanks a lot, Lainey. Thank you so much. Well, I'm drinking Jack all alone in my local bar.